morning jack at 645, 43 degrees. I'm at the Missouri Gulch Trailhead, heading up the top of Mount Belford. You see there are already a bunch of people on the mountain, and it's dark, so I'm going to be careful since I don't know what I'm doing. It's about 6.15, Jack. I'm at 10,266 feet, going to 14,197 feet. It's a pretty steep trail, so they've made switchbacks uh, to help us get up the mountain. 800 feet, I'm entering an avalanche area from some several winters ago. See Jack out of devastation comes hope uh, for renovation. Beautiful wildflowers on this path as a result of this uh, avalanche. Hey Jack, I'm up at 11,200 feet and somebody built an old log cabin here. Let's look at it. Not very big, looks like it had a window in the back and a door in the front. And a nice view, certainly. Jack had just passed the two mile mark. It uh, took me an hour and a half to get up here. I'm up above the tree line. I guess your dad's told you about the tree line, but no trees grow above the tree line. It's about 11,000. 11,500 feet up here. The wind picks up above the tree line and then we get into an area called, tundra. I call it tundra. It's a real thin soil with little grass. If you look way up on that hill, right up there, there's a hiker up there. So I'm heading up that way. I think that's the peak. I'm not sure. 11,900 feet. The sun is just beginning to come down the mountain here. We haven't seen the sun yet, but it's only 7.30 or so. Crossing a little stream. And there's not much tundra here. But the path gets really rough. Jack, 12,100 feet. That going's got really tough. Uh, there's a trail. I've lost it twice. Uh, but this is really, really steep. And if you step wrong here, you could get yourself into some serious trouble. So I'm going to be real careful. You can see hikers further down, further down, and way down. Uh, Jack, it's 8 o'clock. First rays of sun. I'm still in the tundra at 12,455 feet. Uh, well, almost, almost two and a half, three hours into the climb. Uh, not much lives up here, Jack. There are uh, little chipmunks occasionally. Mountain ptarmigan, which is like a mountain chicken. Small, small little bird. Pika or pika, I don't know which it is. It's like a large mouse with giant ears. They sit up in the rocks and bark or squeak at you as a warning. And then the final one that I've seen up here are marmot. Marmot looks like a mountain prairie dog. It sits upright and immediately runs into its burrow when it sees you. We may or may not see any today. I'm, ra I'm moving, racing towards the summit to beat all these clouds. The wind's ferocious and it's hard. I didn't get to the, I, this is not the summit, this is the false summit. There's another, I'm still 800 feet below the summit. Jack, this is what's so sad. I'm, I'm at what should be the peak, but it's not. Right up here at the top, I told you earlier, I thought it was the false peak. Well, sadly it is. The real peak is up there.
Okay, Jack, we made it to the top. I proclaim this now Jack's Mountain. And uh, we'll have to talk to the government because they want to call it uh, Mount Belfort. Uh, that's the little marker that tells you you get to the top. But it is a beautiful up here. A lot of wind. It's hazy today. And I'm going to have a sandwich and then I'm going to start down. I've enjoyed climbing with you, Jack. Jack, you can see how dangerous this is uh, at the peak. Just has to be careful. People are coming up, I'm heading down. And so we're just kind of swapping back and forth here. And you don't want to fall on this stuff. I don't know if you can see the little pika. They're running around on the rocks there. Jack, they're kind of like little guinea pigs. They're cute little things, and they make a little squeak. I'm going to try to photograph the descent as my feet seek out the rocks to show you why it, it, you have to really have a hard time coming down. You can see if you foot on that, it slides. So you have to pick rock by rock. Well, some are obvious and easy, but you just sure don't want to fall here because it wouldn't be pretty. So the descent, in many respects, uh, not when you get down there and you see that path, that's fine. The descent in many respects is every bit as hard as the climb. Jack, there's a marmot out there, just lying in the sun. I know if I go much closer, he'll take off. He's just taking a nice little sun bath. And he looks a little bit like a prairie dog, a mountain prairie dog, if you will. I just ran across, you see one coming through there. There are two others ahead of him. Well, Jack, we did a good job. We got off the mountain before it started raining. It's raining now, up at the top for sure. It's raining on me down at 11,300 feet. I'm gonna get soaking wet because I've got to go way down there. But, hey, we made it and that was fun. Jack, this is a view of the avalanche area. We saw it this morning, but I didn't see it from up above looking back. That's quite a bit of devastation down in there. Jack, these trees that you're looking at are called aspen trees. You've heard of them before, but they're also called quaking aspen for the way their leaves just quiver whenever there's a wind that blows through. The, uh, in the fall, they turn a beautiful gold color. <laughs>